Hey everyone, how you doing? Today I want to talk about consciousness. Consciousness is understanding. Consciousness is allowing uh, messages to, um, to come to you. Uh, consciousness is, is about questioning um, what that is, what that is, what that is, right? Um, positive, negative too, but mostly positive. Because your consciousness can save you a lot of time and trouble, okay? Um, we talked in other videos about the bumps in the road and things like that. If you're conscious, guess what? You're going to either slow down so you don't hit the bump so hard, or you go around the bump, kind of like a speed bump kind of thing, right? But being conscious, um, you gain more and more strength the more conscious you are in every aspect of your life, right? You start to feel different. You start to think differently. You, your energy, your vibration, rises with um, the more conscious you are and understanding is so much different because there's less filters there for it to pass through negative filters to pass through right to get to you and it opens up a whole new world of understanding about yourself of understanding about who you are who you were who you are now who you're supposed to be in the future right is it all set in stone? No, not at all. It's about, I know, Spirit loves to love the yellow brick road, right? Right? Follow the yellow brick road. Just follow it. That's all you have to do is follow it. Pay attention. Be as conscious as you possibly can to your surroundings, to the energy around you, to the messages that you're getting. Again, from movies, from TV, from um, billboards, from music on the radio. Um, from other people, you're standing in line at the grocery store and somebody behind you is talking about exactly what you need to hear, right? That's how it works. Your guides will always help you be conscious. Um, but it's tough. It's tough not to fall back into old behavior of just shutting ourselves off and being in our, and being in our heads. That's why you never have a conversation in your head. You always make sure that you talk out loud as often as you possibly can, right? Because you can hear yourself think. That's consciousness. Um, as you do that, as you continue to, to, to talk, you'll be able to answer your own questions eventually because you've ascended, because you're conscious. Um, is that this or is it that? You'll be able to decipher what is what and who is who um, and that's what, and again, that's what it's all about. And that's tied to ascension, right? Raising your vibration, um, becoming more and more of the human being you're supposed to be this lifetime, right? Consciousness comes, consciousness comes in spurts, okay? Chimes. They cannot give you all the consciousness that you need at one time because your brain, at, when you start the journey, is not physically able to understand the energy, Okay, as you go through your, your go through your journey, and you become more conscious, more aware, more understanding. Okay, you will you you will know and see and feel things that you never ever 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 thought that you would. Because as you raise your vibration, you are on a higher frequency. Okay, of the universe, of the earth, of the plant, right, of just everything around you. As we move forward as we grow, as we become less heavy, right? Because baggage and childhood trauma and things like that are heavy and they keep us grounded, but in a negative way, not in a positive way, okay? They, can, they barely can keep us centered. As you go through your journey, as you become more and more conscious of the way you feel, what you know, how you, what you like, what you don't like, um, uh, you get to make, you, I know, Spirit says you get to make choices. You're at the fork in the road, right? Do I go right or do I go left? Well, many, many times, if you go right, you don't know what's down there. If you go left, you can kind of, no, I think I need to go left this time, right? You'll feel it, right? You'll know. And that's what consciousness is all about. The more you go through your process, the more that you talk out loud, the more you do your guided meditations, the more conscious you become. Because like I was speaking about before, as you let your stuff go, you get, you get, you, it gets replaced with divine energy, right? Of d divine knowing energy, which clears out that space until the next supply of gunk comes up from your gut and needs to be let go of again. 
and you will always have stuff to let go of. Understand that it will never stop. You'll just be more conscious on what it is, right? You'll be more conscious in understanding, okay, I know what that's from. That's from when I was six. And you know what? I dealt with that. And then, okay, spirit, I understand what this is. I need to let it go. And that's what it's all about, right? That, what, that getting to that point um, takes time. It takes time. But every time you let something go by talking out loud, every time you do a guided meditation, right? Every time you stay on your journey, you become more and more conscious every day. And that continues forever, right? It is never going to be, I know, there's never going to be too much consciousness, right? Never going to be too much consciousness, ever, 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 ever. You can never have too much, right? Because as you start to understand who you are, as you understand your energy, as you understand that you have, that, 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 that you're changing, you're turning into this person, um, your divine self, spirit says, that you can actually understand and get, right? And as people start to look at you different, who you've been friends with your entire life, it could be family, it could be aunts, uncles, it could be friends from school, it could be anything. As you start, as you start to change your energy and your energy becomes more positive, and you start to ascend, and you're more conscious, you're gonna see who's good and who's keeping you back, right? Understanding that, okay, the people that are, that are keeping me back, that's old energy, I need to let that go because I'm conscious, right? And people that you're okay with right now, the key is right now, okay? That will they be in your life forever? They possibly will but they need to start their journey too because as you ascend in consciousness, right? You're going to be like, okay, I have nothing in common with them anymore. Exactly. Why? Because you have let go of the connection to them. Let, you've, let, you've, let, you've let it go. The dysfunction of, being, of having them in your life when you thought they were good for you. No, it was just a common thought of dysfunction. See, that doesn't mean that if they start their journey, right, that they're not going to be able to, to, go, with, to go with you. But it's their journey, not yours. That you have to, have to understand, too, is a lot of times that when we become more conscious, we have a tendency to want to bring, bring people along with us. No, as I've said before in videos, it's your journey, nobody else's. You can bring your children along if you have kids, right? Some will like it and some will not. Understanding they're not supposed to be conscious yet, Right? So consciousness is beautiful. It's understanding. It is, it is furthering your knowledge about who you're supposed to be this lifetime.